the table below shows the price indices of a particular type of print. Find the value of P. So you see here, year 2013, and you see that 2011 is equal to 100. It means it's comparing the year 2013 to 2011, which means the index of year 2013 over 2011 is equal to time 100 is equal to 150. Why time 100? Because it is a formula where you divide the quantity of uh, that year over the base year and you time it 100. So you get 150. And then here it's given that the index of, you can see here 2011 is equal to 100, which means 2019 over 2011 is the index is 2 to 5. So the index, the quantity of 2019 divided by 2011 times 100 is equal to 2 to 5. So now it want us to get year 2019 over 2013 because it means that 2013 is equal to 100 uh, which makes it the base. The, so you can see that the base is 100 because it's comparing to this one. So find I is equal to Q19 divided by Q13. So you see here, we are given with these clues. This one is the first one and this one is the first one. So we can get Q19 from here and we can get Q13 from here. You see here, we want Q19 and Q13. So, uh, from this one, if you want to get only Q13, you can see here that Q13 is equal to, if you want to get Q13, so we have the index here, we must bring Q11 to the right. So it's equal to 150 times Q11. So you see here, we want only Q13 and this one is multiply 100. So you will get divide 100. And then here, Q19, if you want to get Q19 is equal to if you want Q19, so the same, you must bring Q11 to this side. So you get the index is 2 to 5 times Q11. So times 100, you bring to the other side, will become divided by 100. So you see here, when you divide Q19, divide by Q13, you can cut the Q11. So here Q19 divided by Q13 times 100. So I'm sorry, this one must time 100. Thirty times 100, so here index, and I'm sorry, this one should be multiplied by 100. So, it's equal to, so here is 2, 2, 5 times Q11 divided by 100. So here Q19 divided by Q13, which is here, 150 times Q11 divided by 100 times 100%. So, we will get... Q11 can be cut off and 100 can be cut off. So we are left with 2 to 5 divided by 150 times 100. 150. So which means 150. 150 means increase by 50%. So we can say the price, uh, the price in 2019 based on 2013 increased by 50%. The production index of industrial sugar in the year 2011 and 2012 based on 2010 was 101.4 and 95.8. So you see it is given the index. The index of here is Q11 over Q. See here Q11 based on 2020 Q10 times 100 is equal to 101.4 and the index of Q12 over Q10 you can see both base 2010 times 100 is equal to 95.8 so calculate the index production of industrial sugar in the year 2012 divided by 2011 so find the index of 2000 so 12 
based on 2011. So, formula need to multiply with 100. So, you see here, this is given one. So, it gives us this one. And this is what we wanted to find. So, we see here, we want Q12 divided by Q11. And you see here, we have Q11 here and we have Q12 here. So, we can find Q12 and Q11 from here and just substitute inside the equation. So, you see here, from the first one, we want Q11, right? So, Q11 is equal to, when we want to get only Q11, so, we, we must bring the others to the other side. So, here we bring Q10 to the right. So, we have 101.4. So, 101.4 times Q10 divided by 100. This is Q11. So, you are left with only Q11. You see here, this one is multiply 100. So, when we change side, it will become uh, divide 100. And then here, we want to get Q12. So, here... Q12 is equal to, when we want to only get Q12, we must bring the others to the other side. So here Q10 uh, will be brought to the other side. So you will get 95.8 times Q10 divided by 100. Now we have Q11 and we have Q12. We can just substitute. And you see here, since you have both Q10 and Q10 here, when you divide, you can cancel out the Q10. So, index is equal to Q12 divided by Q11 times 100. So, Q12 is equal to 95.8 times Q10 divided by 100. And Q11 is equal to 101.4 times Q10 divided by 100 times 100. Okay. So, you see here, Q10 can be cut off. 100 can be cut off. So, we are left with 95.8 divided by 101.4 times 100. So, we will get 94.48. So, you see here, when we get 94.48, so we can see that 100 minus 94.48 is equal to 5.52 since it is lower than 100 so we can say uh, the price in 2012 base 2011 decreased by 5.52% uh, so we are comparing these two years to know what happened between these two years